guys good morning welcome to your favorite channel your favorite tt kirsty valentine how are you all doing today it's a lovely day the sun is out the cold weather is gone mild a bit and if you notice in my voice um i'm prepared i'm taking my <laughs> all of these i've got these i've got my rub i've got my inhaler I've got my uh, tissues, so I've got, I'm preparing myself, I am very, very careful. This is always in my bag, uh, you know what I'm talking about, it's just about the coronavirus. I chopped off and I cut off all my nails, because I ain't taking no chances. Well, our topic today has been trending on social media. It's about the dethroned Emir of Kano State, of Kano Emirate, uh, Dr. Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. He was the former head of First Bank in Nigeria before he was voted in and elected in as the uh, CBN governor. Uh, when I say CBN, the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, governor by uh, President Goodluck Jonathan. Um, in the last few days, it's been all over the place on social media. It's been all on all the major channels in Nigeria, TBC, Mock News, social media presenters, uh, independent news, NTA, you know, name it is all major major news and it's still trending uh, because this uh the disposed northern uh emire from you know in the kanu emirate uh dr sanusi lamido sanusi uh is a major uh figure he is a popular figure he is known for being an outright outspoken uh, individual he's highly educated he's very very smart he's an economist academically he is very very good he is very very smart he has he is he's 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 grounded when it comes to education he is baked when i say baked he is well baked um he when he um was removed as the cbn uh, governor i think that was in 2014 2015 by the then uh, president of Nigeria, President Goodluck Jonathan. He became an admirer, uh, an admirer. Um, he was elected, he became an admirer, an admirer of uh, the Kanu, um, in the Kanu state, in Kanu Emirate. Um, as we all know, um, gone are the days when the others or the admirers or the Shehus had absolute power and that was before the colonial era and when the colonial masters uh, era came in their power and absolute power was diluted and the reason it was diluted was because they knew they had so much influence in the community and for them uh, the colonial rulers to have absolute power and have 100% dominance over uh, Nigeria then, they had to dilute the powers of all the kings and all the emirs. And most of uh, some of the kings and uh, emirs in Nigeria were disposed, were dethroned, and they were taken into exile. I will give you an example. King Jaja of Opobo, who was exiled. Um, Oba Ovorame, who was exiled to Calabar. A lot of them were dethroned and exiled. Um, so uh, that was the way they could get their governance and their colonial system of governance um, mainstream and go deep in the in the in the communities because they had a lot of influence over the communities. And of course, it affected the northern part of Nigeria. Um, this is why you see that any governor who comes into power in the northern state has got the absolute right to enthrone and dethrone an empire. Excuse me, let me drink water.
that's how I do. I try to clear my throat because all this coronavirus going around, I ain't taking chances. Ooh, <laughs> I'm not taking chances. Anyway, so on Tuesday, was it a Monday on Tuesday this week? It was all over on social media how uh, the state governor, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. Is one of these notorious uh, northern governors who was caught on secret videotape piling up dollars in his pocket and yet he was still allowed to rule a state when he was openly corrupt. And, you know, he elected uh, Sanusi in to become the uh, emir of uh, Kanu, uh, emir of Kanu State, and we all know that Sanusi Lamido Sanusi is a very well known figure. He's a powerful figure. He's very very influential. He's well educated, and he's very 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 outspoken. I believe in what he said. I believed in empowering the youth. I, I, I believe in, in education because the only way to success of any community, in any community and in any country, if you want your country to grow, is to get the best education, is to educate every male and female child. Um, and that's what he spoke about. And the thing is, there is nothing wrong in what he said. What was wrong in what he said in, 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 is the way he said it and where he said it. This is where I will blame him. I will put the blame on him. When he, I don't know what he did, I'm not judging. But the thing is, when he was the head of First Bank in Nigeria, and obviously he must have had the same beliefs in empowering the youths by giving them absolute education, building the society, empowering the communities. What NGOs did he create? What charity, educational charities did he create or sponsor to empower the community? When he became the CBN governor, did he use that platform to empower the northern youths and even as an emir in Kano, did he use his position to empower education in the youths? So the thing is not just talking about it when you're given the platform to speak, it's your action. I think that is what has offended a lot of northern governors what you you cannot speak to gorillas and they will understand you a gorilla is a wild animal that belongs to the forest this is what some of these politicians are today they are looters they belong they live in the jungle so when you're when you're crying and shouting they don't understand your language because they don't have that mentality they don't you don't speak the same language with them and so they go for the kill and that's why he was dethroned forget about his rights being taken away from him presently now the governor of uh, Kaduna state has appointed him as the chancellor of one of the universities in Kaduna state which i think um, is a good beginning for him because the downfall of any human being, the downfall of a man, the downfall of, of a woman, it's not the end. Sometimes God allows certain things to happen to get, away, get you away from that platform, refresh you and put you on a new platform and use you to do the things he wants you to accomplish in the world. So I think that position for Lamido Sanusi, uh, Sanusi Lamido San, Sanusi, the former emir of Kano Emirate. I think the being a vice chancellor of a northern university is good. You see, the thing is that one man's meat is another man's poison. What he said has come to pass, and I hope that at this time he will use his influence to accomplish and empower the northern female child and male child 
we are thinking about the future of tomorrow. Why are Western countries very successful? Because they invested in education, they are still investing in education, they are looking for ways to improve technology in education. And that is what we should be doing. My video is a very short video. And what has happened to Sanusi Sanusi is, I remember something similar to me, something similar happened to me years ago, over 30 years ago, when I was in a state art school, which is now a federal polytechnic. I remember that most of the girls who were able to spread their legs around wide open with the lecturers had A's, had A plus, had A, B, had, had, had A's, they, they passed. They couldn't even draw a line. They couldn't even paint. They couldn't even mix a paint. Yeah? But the ones who refused to, to sleep or go around with the lecturers, the ones who wanted to learn and do their artwork and draw and do their artwork were the ones they punished, intimidated, victimized, and failed. And I was one of them. But look at me today. You, in, in, I'm in the Western world. I'm successful. I have a good career. I'm beautiful. I stand on my feet. When you ask me for anything in my job, I know what I'm doing because I learned. And I learned through the hard way. I'm not saying I'm perfect because we all open to learn every day. But when you are in a position and you know that what has got you to that position and what is still keeping you in that position is what is in between your legs. It has a time frame. It has a time period. So when you work hard for what you have achieved, you have appreciation for it more. You appreciate it more. You hold it dear to yourself. So I wish... Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, all the best in his new career. I hope he is taken out of house arrest and he will use the platform as the new uh, vice chancellor or chancellor of Kaduna State uh, University, Federal University, uh, to accomplish what he has been preaching about. You see, the problem in the world today is that the truth is never perceived. Whoever says the truth is the culprit. Whoever says the truth is the black sheep. Whoever says the truth has the smelly mouth. So it's not saying the truth. It's when and how to say the truth and use the truth and accomplish the truth. And we know in the jungle, like Nigeria, if you are the truth talker, the truth speaker, you are never perceived, you are never received. People will not like you. So people want to go with the flock of sheep. They don't want to stand away from the foolish sheep. So that is the issue. And another thing I remembered that Lamido Sanusi said a lot of things that were not true. They were not factual about the former president of Nigeria, President Goodluck Jonathan. He went out in public and published a private conversation he had at the villa between himself and the president, which is was supposed to have been purely confidential. And that set a campaign against President Goodluck Jonathan to get him out as the president and put Buhari in. He also accused and told the Nigerian public and told the world that President Goodluck Jonathan looted over 20 million or billion naira or dollars from the CBN, which was not true. So you see, whatever seed we plant or whatever we do comes around. We must be careful what we say. We must be careful not to accuse people of what we don't have factual facts about because whatever we say we always come back to haunt us so please leave your comment and always remember to share my videos with your family and your friends uh, you know press the thumbs button for like 
and the grace button for notifications in that way you know when i go live streaming or when a new video have been uploaded so until our next video i say love and peace